Right, so hello and welcome back to Books and Things and welcome to another five Victorian novels about video. Today I'm going to be telling you about five Victorian novels which are all about writers. Like many people who love books, I love books that are about books and books that are about writers and there are five wonderful Victorian novels I wanted to mention today which feature writers and talk about writing. And um, so the first one I wanted to mention is New Grub Street by George Gissing. This is a wonderful book which I really really enjoy. Gissing writes quite a lot about writing. Um, he explores novelists and the kind of class and social position of novelists in both his novel New Grub Street and also The Unclassed which I'm not going to talk about in as much detail today but I would also recommend recommend. New Grove Street is a wonderful novel which tells the story of various writers um, struggling to get by in London. Edward Reardon is a novelist who has achieved some success but as his career and his success kind of starts to erode um, he finds his relationship with his wife really really strained. Meanwhile we're also following a man called Jasper Minivan who is an aspiring journalist and a young lady he may or may not be falling slightly in love with who thinks that she can make her way in the world by the pen. Um, and I just feel like New Grub Street is a wonderful novel for lots of reasons but the way that it looks at writing and writers and, and not just like the act of writing but like the social difficulties around being a writer in the Victorian period and what class that meant you were, um, how kind of financially unstable you might be, all of that stuff is fascinating in New Grub Street and the kind of um, juxtaposition between and conflict between money and art um, and writing to make money and writing as an artistic endeavour is just really really fascinating and explored here so I really really recommend New Grove Street it's a fantastic book um, a little bit grim and miserable in places as many George Gissing books are but it really is wonderful and it's a very fantastic book if you're interested in reading novels about writers I'd also really recommend Aurora Lee by Elizabeth Barrett Browning I read this um, for the first time in October um, a couple of months ago and really really enjoyed it. This is um, an epic poem or a novel in verse um, and it tells a story of a woman called Aurora Lee from her childhood to her adulthood. Aurora Lee um, grows up in Italy, she's half Italian, half English um, and after the death of her father she is brought back to England, um, brought up as an English young lady and early on in the book um, her cousin proposes marriage to her but she decides that she doesn't want to marry him, she doesn't want to get married, what she wants to do is become a writer so she moves to London London and becomes a poet. And the book is about her life, her relationships with the characters around her um, and her kind of position as an artist, as a poet um, and especially as a female poet and kind of how many of the people around her, the men around her don't take her seriously. There's a lot that I love about Aurora Lee. I think it's a fantastic book, um, a really kind of interesting proto-feminist novel but I love the way this looks at writing um, and the way that it explores Aurora Lee's kind of um, career as a poet and the name that she builds for herself and the way people treat her art um, and especially the way that people treat her as a female writer um, and how that means people treat her differently. I feel like it's such a fascinating book and really worth a read especially if you're interested in books about writers. The next book I wanted to recommend is The Story of a Modern Woman by Ella Hepworth Dixon. This is a new woman novel from the late 19th century and um, which follows a woman who is trying to make her way in the world on her own after the death of her father. She starts off trying to be an artist um, and kind of goes to art school um, but ends up eventually kind of moving further towards writing um, and trying to make a career for herself as a writer. I really really like this book. I think it's a really interesting book about the position of women in society in the end of the 19th century and it looks interestingly at writing and again a bit like New Grub Street it has that kind of exploration of writing both as um, something to do artistically but also as a career um, and how you might be able to support yourself through writing in the Victorian period and what a kind of complicated thing that was to try and do. I really enjoyed the story of a modern woman and it's definitely one I'd recommend. The next novel about writers I wanted to mention is The Three Clarks by Anthony Trollope. This is another book I read very recently back in October and really really enjoyed. One of my favourite Anthony Trollopes and I've read a lot by him and he is one of my favourite authors. The Three Clarks follows the lives and loves of three young men who are clerks in the civil service and one of these clerks as well as working in the civil service um, is trying to kind of support himself and make 
make extra money because he's rather in debt um, by writing. And then he ends up kind of writing short stories that he's submitting to magazines. And he's trying to kind of supplement his income in the civil service through writing. I really, really love The Three Clerks for a lot of reasons. It's very fun. But one element I really enjoyed was the exploration of Charlie's kind of beginning his career as a writer. And there's one chapter where he has gone to um, see a family who he's friends with. Um, and the mother is reading his short story aloud. And the kind of grown up daughters who are sat around are commenting like every few lines about the stuff that Charlie's written. And it's just really fun to hear them all like dissecting um, and enjoying the story and the silliness of it. Like this is really, really enjoyable. I really love The Three Clerks for a lot of reasons. Um, but one thing in it that I really enjoy is the way it looks at writing. It's not a major part of the story necessarily, but it is a really fun aspect of it. Um, and definitely it's a book that I would really recommend. The Three Clerks by Anthony Trollope is great. Then finally, the last book I wanted to recommend, the last novel about writers is David Copperfield by Charles Dickens. I really love David Copperfield a lot for lots of reasons. Um, and the one thing that I really enjoy in David Copperfield is how it looks at writing. David Copperfield is a Bildungsroman man where we're following the character of David Copperfield from his childhood into his adulthood. We always know from the start that David Copperfield loves stories and loves reading. Um, and later on in the book, he begins to write his own stories and to try to make a name for himself and a career for himself as a writer. And this is an element of David Copperfield that I really, really enjoy. We know that David Copperfield was um, Charles Dickens's favourite of his own novels. Um, and it's fair to say that certain elements of David Copperfield are definitely inspired by Charles Dickens's own life, um, including no doubt the bits about writing and making a career for himself as a novelist. Um, and I just really enjoy how this book looks at David Copperfield kind of starting out as a writer um, and his efforts to become a writer. Um, and I really like the way this book looks at kind of um, the figure of a writer, I suppose. So I really recommend David Copperfield again, if you're interested in books about writing. I do quite like the fact that the front cover of this edition of David Copperfield basically looks like him considering a blank page. So there we have it. Those are five wonderful Victorian novels about writers. Um, do let me know down in the comments if you have any recommendations for Victorian literature or indeed modern books about writers. It's always something that I really enjoy. That's all for now. Thanks so much for watching and I'll be back very soon with another bookish video.